Hello guys, how y'all doing today? This is another great video coming from Redneck Ways. Well guys, today it's been a different day uh, for sure. Um, things kind of turned upside down in the Redneck Ways life. But, you know what? Sometimes life throws you curveball. Does that mean you quit or stop or get in the corner and one? No. Keep on going. Keep trucking, baby. So, today, guys, what I'm going to do, um, y'all, from my other videos, y'all seen how, um, I love crystal sets. So, um, I haven't made a crystal set on here by step by step, and I would love to have my, one of my, um, crystal sets on YouTube. There's a bunch of different videos, and all of them's great, and I want to add mine to that collection. So, guys, um, let me go get my, um, I got, I'm, you see what I'm dealing with. Let me go get <clears throat> my thing I'm going to make my coil with and get the, the saw set up and I'll be right back guys. Alrighty guys, I'm back. This is what I'm going to make my coil with. Um, I haven't made one at this diameter before. It's going to be a little bit different and, um, I'm thinking it might be a little bit better. But we'll find out. Um, so I've got to get my saw. I'm going to take and I'm going to cut this off probably about right there. I'm cut that off. So let me set up the saw and everything and I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. I got hooked up here. Um, let me see if I can get y'all set here. Let me find some, some weight. That worked. Alright guys, I'm going to cut this off right there on that little line. I think it's about six inches. Um, on making these crystal sets, guys, it don't matter really how long. Um, it really don't. And it really don't matter what the diameter. You can do it all different types of ways and pretty much it will come out and work. So... I do have, I am wondering if this blade is going to make a nice smooth cut on this. I am a little worried about that. I may have to take a hacksaw to it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to get the blade out. Yeah, that's not going to work, guys. So, I'm going to have to get a, a hacksaw here. Let me see. Here's one. I'm going to unplug this for so I don't cut my finger off. All right, let me set this all out of the way. Let's put this over here. This is like, like here, uh, pretend we're in, uh, we just got bombed or something, and we need to see, get on the radio. Now that's basically what it is right now. I'm in a tragic situation here, guys, and uh, I need to know what's going on, so I'm making a crystal radio, by God. This is going to take forever. I want it nice and straight. That's why I was wanting to use the chop saw for it. Well, you get the idea. I'll be right back when I get this cut, guys. All right, guys. I got it cut. It's a little crooked. I may be able to fix that later on. That stuff's pretty thick. Thicker than what I thought it was going to be. All right. So now what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, I'm going to get some hot glue first. I'm going to plug my hot glue gun up. Let me get you all set up here so you can see what I'm doing. What I did for that little mirror. But anyway, I've got to uh, hook this hot glue gun up, guys. We'll get it hooked up, get it warming up. Oh, what y'all seeing? I'll be right back, guys. I gotta find my little mirror so I can see what's going on back here. 
see what y'all seeing. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I had to run into the house too. I'm going. Um, I'm out of um, insulated, any type of insulated wire, and that's what you need to make a crystal set. The the wire's got to have insulation on it. That way, when if it touches, it won't cause no um, short circuit. So I'm out of that at the moment, but I'm going to use this kind of wire. It's a uh, it's real thin, but it does pretty good. I I made one here a while back. On a crystal set here a while back with this type of wire, and it did pretty good. So that's what I'm going to use, guys. I'm going to use this. Hopefully, I got enough. I have enough on this row. Um, I probably need to start probably with this one, but I would have to drill this center out to fit this. Which, it don't look like it's going to fit. I can't find. It might stay there while I unroll it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's going to work. Alright. Now, this is what I got here, guys. Um, I got this little, it looks like a, like a little vice. It's, uh, it's actually off an old uh, nursing bed. I found it at the nursing home one day when I was delivering salt to them. But um, it works. I got to work like a boss. I've got a piece of copper here stuck here. That way it'll hold my spoil. Spoil. My spool. And then um, on the. If I can get it to spin. I probably have to put a little oil on it. Yeah. It feels a little dry. But uh, I'll get it where it'll spin. And then down here I'll run it underneath this box. And that way that'll keep this, keep this good and tight. And then. Um we'll wrap it around this now um i'll show you what uh, how to start that i always what i do guys i always take and drill a hole here a couple holes one here and one here and same down here i'll drill a hole in here one here and one here and then i'll run my wire through with the i'll run it in a way that the wire comes out this way like put it run it through here in here and it'll poke out at the bottom and run out it won't be running here it'll be coming out of here that's why it always works out better and then i put a little hot glue right there to start it and then i start doing my wrap now um i've done all different types of wraps um counts i've did one at 220 i've done one at 100 i've done one at 300 i've done it all different types and it just varies some of them are a little bit better than others and then the way it's usually worked if, if i went exactly down to the scientific math my other one that i just winged it worked better so the crystal sets are very forgiving guys so don't be don't be scared to make one they're a lot of fun and they're very interesting and cool and like i said if you really need a radio really bad and you have an antenna and a ground You'll pretty much be able to do it. Now you do need. There's a couple of things you do definitely need. But we'll get to that when we get to it. So. Let me get you all set up here. So I can get this started. Actually I've got to. Drill a couple of holes guys. I've got to drill a hole here and here like I said. So let me set you up here. Like you all seen. I'm all out of whack here. I got. Everything's just. Here and there. So just. Just bear with me, guys. There we go. Close up of that. Let me find a drill bit. <clears throat> I don't know if that ain't gonna work. Um, huh. Hold on, guys. Let me find a drill bit. All right, guys. I'm back. Let's get these drilled. We'll put one right here. This stuff, this cardboard this is no joke, guys. <laughs> My goodness. Put one about an inch apart. And then come on the other end, try to line them about the same as the other side. Right. 
All right, guys, I've got my hose drilled. So what I do now is I take my wire. I bet you I'm gonna run out. I better start a new sport. Well, wish I knew how much was on this. We'll try, like I said, I, I have to drill. I would have to, to the other spool, I have to drill a hole like that in the center. And that took took me last time quite a bit of time. Uh, it need, I've got to have that so it'll go on that hook, right, that nail. We'll try it. Hopefully I'll have enough. If not, we'll just make a short coil this time. So like I was saying a minute ago, guys, we'll just uh, take this and uh, you want to run it. Let me see. Um, I guess I got to bring it in like this. We'll take it up. Okay, now that's one again. It does have a lot. That's the bad thing about using um, wire with uh, uh, cloth on it. it. It's hard to keep it from riding up on you. They clean these hose out a little bit better. I hope everybody's been having a great day today. Yeah, it was beautiful here in um, eastern Kentucky. Um, it was a little chilly this morning. A little bit of frost on the windshield this morning. Not much. Probably have to put some glue. I don't hate how it busted up. Probably have to put some uh, glue on that. Let's try this again. Let's see if we can get it started, guys. Yeah, got it started. So I'll pull it. Give yourself about a good, good foot of wire to start out working with. And then once you do that, you just run it right back through the other hole. Like that. And that's what, that's going to be your, um, what you hooked here crystal set so just kind of bring it through let me see guys that, that ain't exactly how I want it let me get this box out of my way oh. Oh, that's better that's not exactly how I want it because I don't want to start my coil with that coming right here so let me try that over I may have to let it lap over. I think I did that before. You watching me right now, you think I've never done this before. Alright, there's that one. Okay, snake it through. Try to get it to go. There we go. I, want, I was wanting that part to be on the inside, but it's not going to work that way, guys. So, like I said, give yourself about a foot. Kind of tuck, tuck that in once you get your foot there. And then, on this part... Take it around one good time. And get you a good start. Get it started right there. Get you a good... Where it's coming out of the, the holes. Just like that. Pull it tight. Pull it real tight, guys. Kind of try to get that over. 
So I want it, want it right there. So then you take your, your hot glue gun and you put your little squirt there and a little squirt there. And you let that dry for a minute. You let that dry. While that's drying, we're going to get set up to start rolling it on. Alrighty, let me get the other stool. Alright guys, I'm not going to bore you with all this movement. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Let me get uh, get my um, table set up. Okay guys, I'm back. I think I got this set up now. To work. Oh, we'll do a couple turns. I won't make you sit through it all. Alright guys, you want to line this up. Keep it tight. You gotta keep it very tight, guys. If not, it'll just be a mess. Mm. Gotta keep it good and tight. And just go around. pushed over just take your time with it put you on um, some of your favorite music or favorite podcasts because this does take a little while this is the the longest part just keep on doing that now you need you will need something let me see if I get a hold without dropping my phone You'll need a box or something. You see how I got got it underneath there to keep the its weight. This I'm using it as weight, and that way it keeps your string good and tight. Mm. Get you set back up, guys. I gotta try to do it one-handed. Kind of tough. Yeah, y'all can see. All right. Just keep going around. Just pull. Pull. Yeah. Hold on one second, guys. All right. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm going to take me a little break here. Make me a piece of pizza and drink me some pop. Get a little energy. And we'll be right back on it, guys. See you in a minute. All right. I'm back. Oh. that good and tight guys I'm sorry starting to wish I didn't I, I'm wishing I hope to use the other spool this one getting already low I didn't really think of how big is diameter of this tube is the cylinder I mean I guess I could just wire it 
Well, no, that won't work. Mm, excuse me, guys. Guys, I'm, I am going to have to use the other one. Or this ain't going to work. Because uh, it's already starting to show right here. So, um, give me a second, guys, and I'll be back. Let me, I'll get this and get this all wrapped up, and uh, we'll get it, go from there. I'll go ahead and get the coil finished, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to use this coil, guys. I made this here a while back. That one giving me so much problems i had uh i got halfway it broke on me once so i tied it like right there and i soldered it it broke twice well this one i, I soldered it too and it, i thought it was gonna work and then i guess the solder came loose and it started unwounding so that's a bust for now so what we'll do guys we'll go ahead and make it's the same principle same thing just uh, i've already got this coil made and uh so now after you get your coil made like this 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 is just for looks this is just fanciness it helps a little bit but just ignore that actually i don't know do i got the other coil i have this coil also um i've got two wires going once uh i've been trying to use it as a trap so what i need to do guys we're going to um we need a piece of wood, which I got right here, and I'm going to cut, just cut me a little piece off here, just big enough for this to fit on. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. Set you all up here on the table. Yeah, I, I was really wanting that coil, uh, but I'll, I'll make it again. I'll get it fixed. Just going to, everything was going wrong with it today. Just one of them days, I guess. see it there there's that coil so here's the coil so like i said we'll make a measurement what we need just that about right there that'll do it that'll do it so we'll cut it right there guys it's gonna be loud hold your ears guys we got the board made so what i do i put a couple uh nuts and bolts on the bottom and then i uh, that way i could draw a hole and i can mount it on this so that's why i'm gonna get, let me put this saw up oh gosh Let's get the drill bits. There is the drill bits. I've got a mess, guys. I've got to get all this stuff organized. Now, where did I put the drill bits? Huh. There they are. I think it's that one. Come up here and measure. Eh, it's a little big. That one will work. Well.
in perfect guys just like that just like that all right now what we need is and i didn't get any wire i should have i, got, I think i got enough wire here though i forgot to get it at my old place We need, you're going to need a uh, germanium diode. I forget the number. Um, let's see what I got in here. I think I, I don't know if these are marked or not. Let's see, that's too big. I know that. Is it here's a uh a one in four one four eight. I've never used that one. I don't think that one work. Here's a one in two seventy. That's, I know that will work. I'll have to look that one up. Let's see. Heck, they only sent me two of them. Huh. They get stingy on that, because look at all these. They gave me all of those, but they only gave me two of these. What's up with that? Alright, guys. You need one of those. And I've got to run to the house for a minute and get uh, something, a couple other pieces. And I need to get a couple, uh, one resistor. And I got to look up the number for that one. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I don't have any, no little nails that I usually use on this stuff. So I'm going to use screws. Like I said, this is like, if we had to make a, a radio really fast, we got to use what we got. So... We need a screw right here for the antenna. We need an antenna screw. There's one for that. And you need one for ground. So we'll use this one for ground. Now, this one isn't tapped. So that could be a problem. Probably will have to use it. Uh, well, no. I'll use something inside here to... Um, we'll figure something out. So, there's for th that. Uh, coming off here. Well, we need one earphone here. So, put earphone... I keep on grabbing that one. It's a... They were flatheads. I need Phillips. There's a Philip. Let's get one earphone here. Maybe. That's one earphone. I'm not going to put a resistor in here right just yet, guys, because um, I need to look that up. I forget what number what resistor 
and I don't want to tell you wrong. But it'll work about it. There's that one. And then we need one for our germanium diode. So we'll put it right here. The germanium. And then we uh, really need one for a, 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 um, a, a whopper. But I'm not going to use a whopper. So I'm going to do a little something different. I want to, um, yeah, I'm going to do something a little different. There it goes. I'll tell you that right here in a minute. And which, in my opinion, what I, what I want to tell you, I think works better anyway. All right. So I'm, I need some wire. And I didn't get that when I left either. So I have this awful, awful stuff. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to slice it and get that uh, plastic off of it. Peel it off like that for the pieces I need. And then I'm just going to solder that into there. I need to put my soldering on. Let that warm up a little bit more. That needs uh, hammered out a little bit straighter. Tomorrow's Friday, guys. Payday for me. Get that a little bit straight. All right. I really wish I could put that resistor in there because I just don't want to tell you wrong and uh, all that. So um, I'm letting that heat up. So when that gets heated up, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Now, oh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this as a uh, instead of putting a whopper on this, I'm going to use it as a loose coupler. So this one is not going to fit. So I'm going to have to probably make another one. But I think I can get it to play. So we can hear something when I'm done. And you'll get the audio of how it goes together. So I think that thing is uh, heated up. So we'll begin. Get that one there. Cut your wire. And there's all different ways to mount this stuff. You can go fancy and order a bunch of stuff. I mean, you can go all out. Sure can. There's my soldering. All right. Put a little, get that hot. It's just getting hot. It has a big ball shot on there. So this one. Oh, I hope it ain't stainless. I may have to probably have to rough these up, guys. Probably sometimes you gotta take a file and get that coating off. take much all 
Come on, stick. It must be stainless or something, guys. That one just ain't wanting to work at all. But I got a little bit on it. Okay, let's solder this in place. Finish that. So this gets hot quick. I may have to wrap it around it, guys. I don't know what's up with these screws. I'm just having one of them days. Okay, honest truth. I don't know why it's not wanting to. I don't have my big sock. Sorry, I mean that thing's hot too. Should be taking hold. Some solder. I may have to wrap those around. That's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm not gonna solder it. We'll just take this wire, and it's a bit easier at the ha at your house anyway. If you don't have a solder soldering iron, just take it. This wire is thick too. Not ideal, but it'll work. There's that. Now where's my there it is. Bring this. Well, I can't. I just want to bring it up a little bit, but I got the solder in the way. But we'll get that pushed down. Get that good and tight. Okay, there's that. I'm sure y'all can see. Let's get us another piece of wire. Take it from here to here. Like I said, you this is the simplest one. You can go crazy on it. There's all different ways you can um, line it up. And we'll have to go across here to no I don't no I don't all right guys now um, uh, one wire one of the end wires go here to the antenna and the end goes here to um, your earpiece so we'll wrap this around here that way we'll We'll get the coil hooked up. So I can get that back out a little bit. So I get, yeah, there we go. I'll wrap this around this. I know I 
you're staying at the house. Oh, that's never going to play. I'll tell you, it should. There's that one. This is uncoiled. Oh, it came off right there. So, yeah, I got to clean. You got to make sure you clean the insulation off on your insulation wire. Because uh, if not, it won't work at all. It's got to be clean right here on your connections. Take a little piece of sandpaper or a knife. Something to scrape that off. Sugar. I'll run that to her. Put a little solder on it. that guys now let me try to put this back together again about that break I really wish I could have got that one coil done I just I spent about an hour and then it started unraveling on me. All right, guys, that's what that will look like. And that that's going to be your antenna. That's going to be your ground. Let's put our uh, our crystal in our germanium diode. You can go all crazy and get you a pencil and do it that way. I have tried it. It's not easy. These are... Oh, the number ain't on it. I cannot remember, guys, what those are. Um, I do believe, though, the, um, the one in 270s will work for this. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and use one of them, and uh, we'll see. That way, if you uh, need to order one, you'll know what to order if it works. There's Because I know um, different ones, some of them are better, and some of them are worse. So... Alright, there's another one. We'll put that back in the package. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now, hopefully, this will solder in. I shouldn't have no problems with this. Here, you guys can see. It goes in between here and here. That's where you want to put it. Between your earphone and usually your wiper. But like I said, we, I'm not going to put a wiper on this. Are you serious? I'm telling you guys, it's been one in days. <sighs> there it's in. It's in, baby. Okay. That one's in. 
I'm not going to clip that. Because I may use that for something else. So I don't want to. I may need it a little bit longer next time I use it. So I'm just going to kind of pigtail it around. Like that. Same with this. Alright guys, that's what it looks like. And sometimes when you're listening to the radio in a like really dark room, you can see a little bit of light flash in there. It's pretty much microscopic, but every once in a while you can see it. And also, I have lit a LED up by just running the antenna in the ground and lit a blue, little tiny blue LED. It's got enough juice to do that. That was pretty neat. But overall, that's what we got. You got your coil, you got your um, germanium diode crystal, and then right here you're going to have your earphones, which I've got to go in. This will take high impedance earphones. It won't, a yeah, regular pair of earphones won't work, guys. It's a, it's a very um, simple signal coming through. It's, it's not very strong at all. It's a uh, there's no batteries or nothing. So. Alright. Give me a minute guys. I gotta run in the house and get the, the earphones. Alright guys. I'm back. Before I run into the house. We're going to have to make an antenna. Now I'm going to take this antenna. And I'm going to run it. Out. I'll run it up over the rafters. And um. You really want a, a, ver a vertical L outside for this to work really good. So, but this should work. This should work, guys. Let me get it going. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. Um, let's see where the here's the earphones. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, they're hanging down here. Uh, these are really cheap on the internet, like a dollar or two. So you need these high impedance air font earpiece. So let's just hook it up and see if it's going to work. I got to, uh, I have to. Uh, da -da. Oh, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use my um, little amp so you all can hear it. Um, it it's not loud enough to push a speaker, but it'll push these little headphones loud enough where you can hear it. If it hopefully it works, guys. Hopefully it works. It should. After that one coil didn't start working. That's what goes to my thing. After that one coil messed up, it's been kind of downhill here. So hopefully this will work. You need to uh, hook your antenna to this right here. We'll hook that in the ground. I don't know what I'm going to use for a ground. Um, you need a good ground, like a ground in the ground, like that's like staked about six foot in the ground. That makes a really good one. Or a cold uh, water pipe. Just you got. You need a really good ground. There's the antenna, guys. What I'm going to use, I'm going. This is the first time I've ever tried this. Since I'm using this little board, little crystal set, I'm going to try to use the ground on the battery. I don't know if that'll work or not. It should, I would think, but we who knows, you know. So I got this backwards. These big ones go over here, like that. These little ones here, and then uh, hook my battery up. Here's the ground. The posi. Everything's so close, ain't guys? And this antenna, I didn't give myself enough room, really. Sorry, guys. Let me get this. We all won't be so close up on it. We got that. So now I've got to hook the ant, the ground up. So we'll hook the ground up over here. And 
see if we can. Well, I've got to, uh, Hmm. Give me a second, guys. I gotta figure something out. I need something to put in here so I can change the station. All right, guys. That's um, where we're gonna leave off tonight. I need a good ground. I got it in slightly, but nothing to brag about. And um, so uh, tomorrow, when it's got late on me tonight. So, I'll make a part two of this, guys. I'll go outside and make us a good ground and get this antenna hooked up. That's one good one thing you need. You need a good ground, good antenna. And right now, I have either. And I'm tired. And I'm going, I believe, to call it a day, guys. Y'all have a great evening. And have a great Friday. And, guys, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful night. And I'll see you next time here on Redneck Waste. Bye, guys.